Buenos Aires, South America. 7,000 miles from home. Unless you're watching in Metric Vision, in which case it's 11,265 kilometers. Sounds better in miles. 20 everyday men and women, including a beauty therapist, a referee, and a wrestler, will test their mettle on the world's nastiest obstacle course. One will win, 19 will lose, and I do mean lose spectacular. This is Total Wipeout. Let the games begin. Welcome to Total Wipeout. It's the journey of a lifetime for 20 brave souls who are willing to suffer bumps, bruises and humiliation on the path to almost certain failure. But only one will walk away £10,000 richer and still have the use of all four limbs. Anyway, let's start at the beginning with the qualifier. And here comes the first competitor. He could be a winner, although statistically that's very unlikely. Now, here's Dave from Derbyshire. Hmm, no. A good bit of trouble. So what is Dave? An impersonator? A comedian? <laughs> Village idiot? So I'm in the presence of holiness here at the top of the qualifier. I'm joined now by Catholic priest Father Dave. How are you doing? Very well, thanks, Amanda. Yeah, very excited as well. I'm really looking forward to that mud over there. It looks great. Oh, he's a man of the cloth. I feel bad about the village idiot thing now. I've got angels' wings and I'm gonna fly! Fly! Fly around <laughs> this course! <laughs> now, maybe he's been out in the sun a bit too long. They don't wear hats, do they? Talk, keep talking, keep talking. Talk about things you like to In the water under the pontoons. You've got to have a dream if you Well, it's not dignified, but it's fast. How you gonna have a dream come true? Topple Towers. Oh, my God, he's across the first. On to the second set. Oh, almost made the second set. Competitors are making light work of the Topple Towers today, but mark my words, they're not easy. Some timely advice for the priest. Divine intervention is not strictly banned on Total Wipeout. It's just kind of frowned upon in the early stages. OK, he did well on the Topple Towers, but will his angel's wings kick in when they're really needed? You are my friends! They're not. They're so not. You see, with friends like that, who needs enemies? It was a leap of faith. Probably too much emphasis on the faith bit there. Some balance would have been better. Now, come on, Divine Dave. Can he be the first priest to right. lunar land? Here we go. Mr Mushroom. Mr. Marshall. Uh, Sorry, uh, must, be the, must be the communion uh, wine talking. Here we go. <laughs> Off he goes! Oh, well, I don't believe it. Divine Dave is truly divine. He is the first ever to complete the lunar landing and in two minutes and eight seconds. That is astonishing. I don't know what he's doing now. Yeah, someone call the bishop or somebody. Cash Potato Comrie gate crashes into pole position. Just one second ahead of red card. Dan with Divine Dave only three seconds behind him. So as the eight smile their way out of the competition, it's a barrel of laughs for the remaining 12 who face potential oblivion in the sweeper. So, it's the return of the classic sweeper, but the Argentinians have come up with a dramatic twist. Welcome to the sack race from hell. Well, it was a choice between this or the egg and spoon race. The last six will go through to the next round, but the game does not stop until there is a last man or woman or sack standing. On three and four are Boing Boing Lucy and Divine Dave. I might be wearing blue, but I'm a kangaroo boy! Yeah, maybe it's a parable. Three, two, one! Well, they're off. I've no idea if it's even possible to jump the sweeper in sacks, but they are. They are. Boing Boing Lucy wobbles. Oh, no! The levitator is down. Where were those levitation skills Ian told us about? I'm beginning to think he was lying. Right, back to the action. Oh, someone else has gone. It's red card Dan. Hanging on, but he must get back up before the sweeper arm returns or he's out. Yeah, well, rules are rules, so it's an early bar for red card death. I was so proud of how I did on the qualifier, but I just, just disappointed with myself today that I couldn't hang in there just for a few, few more rounds. Right, back to the sack dwellers. Ten left, six go through. 
I don't know how they're doing this. Now remember, that sweeper arm gets faster and higher with every revolution. The sacks don't change, though. They just keep on making things, well, impossible. Still on, still on. Oh, Gordon the chauffeur's gone. Oh, didn't know whether to hold on to the sack or protect his face, so he did neither. Remember, only six can go through, but everyone now hanging on in there. Hurry up and fall, guys. That Argentinian farmer will notice his sacks are missing and his potatoes are spoiling in the sun. Oh, Shana's gone! Tasha's gone! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more down! Amanda's right. The next one down will be eliminated by the smallest of margins and by the largest of revolving punch bags. Catch Potato Comrie has a wobble. The competition really hotting up. As are those thick weave hessian sacks, I should imagine. Still going. Speed of it. Oh! No, Gary Barlow Andy nearly lost his sack there. Cash Potato Conry is down. She's got to get up before the sweeper returns and keep hold of that sack. Fastest qualifier, Cash Potato Comrie, is out, leaving just the final six. So from now on, it is just for pride. Only Divine Dave, no Gary Barlow, Andy, and Boy Boy Lucy left. Oh no, Andy's down. They're all down. The sweepers tidied things up nicely, and last man standing, I think, was Divine Dave. And finally, Divine Dave has fallen to his knees. Someone's answered his prayers, though. He's the last man standing. It was so exciting. And I feel all that experience I had practising computer games with a big monkey jumping over barrels was fantastic, you know. So, obviously, in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle, sometimes computer games can really work, and I think this one did. Right. Well, God moves in mysterious ways, while Divine Dave just talks in mysterious ways. But he is safely through to the next round. So, what is the next round? Well, this is the moment I have been waiting for. A brand new, terrifying obstacle for Total Wipeout. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mum, brace yourself for the treadmill. So, to the final treadmill heat, it's Divine Dave versus Unassuming Ricky. I reckon this is definitely a David and Goliath situation, and we all know what happened in that story. My chances against the priest are the best chances out of anybody in this game. He's a nothing. I don't even know his name. I don't even want to know his name. Yeah, you're watching Total Wipeout, the only show on TV where you'll see a Catholic priest and a wrestler running side by side on giant treadmills whilst being buffeted by giant demolition balls. Both men seem to be having fun at the moment. It's nice. But that's about to change. Two contenders, one remaining spot in the wipeout zone. Who will seize it? Oh, Ricky was not expecting that. Both looking relaxed. I'm assuming Ricky particularly seems to have found his stride. Divine Dave now looking a bit worried. Remember, these guys are two of today's fastest qualifiers, and Divine Dave was the last man standing in the sweeper. Still going head to head. It's a battle royal, but there is only room for one of them in the wipeout zone. A nice shorts, Dave. Divine Dave takes a graze, but he's down and scrambling to get back up again. The dreadmill dragging him back quicker and quicker. Get up! Oh! Really scrambling with everything he has. He's in the water. Divine Dave is out, and unassuming Ricky is the third and last finalist to go through. A little stumble was all it took. Once Divine Dave was down, he really struggled to get going again. He puts up a real fight, but in the end, the dreadmill always wins. That was painful to watch. You were down on your knees and you were praying. I was. I what was happened? Scrambling. Scrambling. It took me by surprise. Oh, it was so big, that, that large thing that came from the sky. But, uh, evil, wasn't well, it? Evil, wicked, dark. <laughs> Look how dark it looks, even now, a shadow casting over us. It's good night from Amanda and the 